Matrix Live, here we go. Now, we have two demos today. Uh, we have Doug, who's going to um, show us about how you can actually create an account on matrix.org with Element X. And Benoit is going to talk about incoming session verification on Element X uh, and also uh, user verified badges. But there's more. I'm going to come a little bit closer here because everyone who's watching this on YouTube, I'm going to tell you something that everyone else here doesn't know. This is not true to say that there's only two demos. There are three. How is this possible? Look at the shock on everyone's face. There are three demos. If you look at the top of here, hopefully you can just about read it. It says PR2670. It's a Netlify build. And that is because we are actually demoing um, uh, something from Element Core right now. Now, Robin has led on this project. But I'm going to put Florin on the spot because I, I warned him uh, earlier. Um, Florian, what are we uh, what are we demoing here? So this is an attempt to uh, smoothen down a bit the noisiness we have in our tiles, which are shuffling around the screen. Um, I heard that uh, meanwhile people are loving it, but we try to improve on that front as well. So um, stay tuned; there will be a release in the near future, and we will ship it. Yeah, from what I can see, it's very hard to reason about it just thinking it conceptually you've actually just got to have a few of these calls with people doing weird stuff uh and then and then that sort of helps helps figure out what's the actual uh, um algorithm you want to decide when to move a, a tile or not yeah that's you nailed it <laughs> all right all right okay well look there's your bonus demo um doug um you're going to talk to us about matrix.org account registration but matrix.org does not support mas yet now, we put in um, uh, legacy login support, but I don't think that Element X supports the rest of authentication. So how can you legacy authentication? So how is it possible that we can create accounts for matrix.org? That's the opening question. Perfect. Um, so I shall share a window. Can you see my phone? Yes, I think you can. Um, so yeah, so thanks, Neil. Um, as you said, we, we now support um, registration on matrix.org um, within Element X. Um, let's just first have a quick go back to like start the start screen and just see what's changed. And we'll, we'll, we'll get to that um, as we come to it. So you'll see now that like um, previously the screen, it just used to have one button. It just said continue and you would tap that and go on your way, select a server and log in. Uh, we've now got um, the sign in with QR code button is available at the top, but more interestingly at the bottom, we have a button called create account. Um, so registration was always possible um, through OIDC and Element X, um, but you, re you were required to use um, um, a server that supported that. So um, if I choose one here, such as uh, our matrix.org beta server. Um, within this new flow, when I tap on continue, so we're now taken straight to the registration screen rather than what previously happened was you were taken to a sign up, sign in screen and you had to find the little link that said, I'd like to create a new account. So we've kind of streamlined that a little bit um, as part of this whole overflow um, uh, overhaul. Um, so there's a couple of changes waiting. I think Android already does this by default. Um, iOS, we've got a few changes we need before you'll see this behavior. But I think the important thing to say is this is still our preferred flow. Like mass is still the future. This is what, what we're going to do. But we personally, we wanted to have support for registration on matrix.org. Um, and so that is what I'm going to talk about today. Um, so if I change this URL back to matrix.org, um, and now hit continue, you will see we are now presented with, it's going to load, here we go, um, a new web app. Um, so whilst we're waiting for um, the backend team who are um, working towards migrating matrix.org onto using mass, um, we've created um, a, a helper um, application that we can use within Element X to do um, registration. Um, so this is based on Element Web. And we go through the same registration flow that you would normally go through um, in Element Web. But when you get to the point where you're signed in, instead of continuing on to your um, room list, the, it's, it's going to signal to the app and say, hey, you're signed in. Here are your cred credentials. And we can take over that in 
inside of the app. So enough talking, let's register an account. Um, so I shall see if everything I want to get. So no one's registered Matrix live demo yet. That's good. Um, I will see if I can get a secure password. Um, uh, let's try a different one. Apparently that's not secure. Um, perfect. I need to remember that. Um, brilliant. Uh, I will enter in an email address. All right, this isn't a super exciting demo, watching me fill in a form. Um, so I shall now hit register. Um, and you'll see we go through the same steps you normally would. So um, I didn't have to do a capture, that was nice. Uh, we've got the terms and conditions. I shall just accept those, I'm happy with them. And sometimes it would ask me to do my email. In that instance, it didn't. Um, it, there's a small delay whilst it's verifying our um, identity. I think that's a bug on our side that we need to look into. And then you'll see that basically what happened was we went from what was a web app and we're now back into the app itself. Um, I can choose to have some analytics and I'm now, um, I've created an account. It is an account on matrix.org. Um, and this has all happened using the, yeah, the registration helper, which is basically a stripped down version of element web. Um, and without without the need for mass in this instance. Um, so this is hard coded to only work for matrix.org. It's it's a like I said it's a workaround and we will like we are working towards migrating matrix.org to mass, but in the meantime this provides a much nicer experience for people who are new to the app and want to try it out. Um, the last thing to say is that as part of having registration now as a default um, as a default feature we had some App Store and Play Store requirements that we need to be able to deactivate the account as well. Um, so you should now see if you're using password-based authentication at the bottom of the settings screen is a deactivate account button. So I can tap on that. I can choose whether or not I wish to delete all of my messages. Um, I now have to see if I can remember the password that I just made up on the spot. Um, and this is gonna work. Confirm that I wanna deactivate. And there we go. So I have registered an account on metrics.org, uh, like signed in and used it, and I can deactivate it all, all, um, yeah, all through Element X. So um, that's everyone, everything. Thank you. Very nice, very nice indeed. And thank you everybody who uh, was very pragmatic in the way that we put that uh, together. So um, do appreciate it. I'm worried that Matthew was screaming out in silence at the moment, realizing that somehow Matrix Live demo was not taken up previously <laughs> at any point in the last 10 years of, <laughs> um, um, of, the, of the project. All right. Uh, so thank you, Doug. Um, Benoit, uh, incoming session verification. Yes. Hello, everyone. Um, so I will uh, share my screen. Okay, and uh, today I will demo uh, the incoming uh, session verification, uh, incoming uh, in the point of view of uh, ElementX. So um, it's not uh, yet available. Uh, there is a, a pull request on the REST SDK which is not merged yet, and so it's the same on Android and on iOS. But I can still demo it. So, uh, a bit of a history, um, 18 months ago, we implemented the session verification when we log in using ElementX. So you log to your account and you can verify your, your session. You can ask to verify your session using another existing session, but it was not possible to accept an incoming verification. So no and in a, in a few days for everyone it will be possible to do that so i will um, on my screen you will see on the bottom left uh, an element web uh, session with a, which is connecting using uh, a test account on the right we have an um, element x android uh, on the, the branch which supports um, 
uh, incoming session verification. And on the top left, uh, another instance of Element Web uh, that I will use to um, sign into the account and ask for a session verification. Let's go. So um, I'm using a, a test account on matrix.org. Here we go. So I've got an alert on the other web session. Uh, this is not supported yet by Elementex, but it will be also uh, in the near future. And uh, I will try to verify the session. So we can see that we have uh, this Element Web Session has sent a request to verify using another device. And we've got an alert on Element Web, which is existing since a while. And what is new is on the right, we have a screen pop up with a verification re request. Um, we display some details about which session is um, asking the request. And we can start the verification of, or ignore it. So I can just ignore to see what happened for the first demo. So nothing happened on, on the on the on the left. We can see that if we ignore on Element Web, it will reject the verification request. So this so is a bit different, but not a big deal. And if I start again the verification, and this time uh, we will go further, I can this time accept the verification. Uh, so we can see that the pop up on the other element web session has vanished because the session has been answered by um, element X on the right. And we can start the verification using emoji. So now I have to compare the emoji. Um, so I see that the emoji are matching, but I will just deny just to pretend that it's not matching to see what happened, what's happening. They don't match. Okay. So we see that the verification has failed and we can close the screen and on the um, requester, we can see that there is maybe something wrong. Okay, let's do it again. And this time we will go to the, um, to the end. Okay, cake, mushroom, strawberry, pepper clip, etc. Okay, this, look, this looks similar. So much, so much. Okay, the device is verified. The new device, uh, so the element web session has been verified. Um, let's go. And I can see that um, if I go to a, I don't know, to an encrypted room, I should be able to see my encrypted messages. That's it for the incoming session verification. Um, something else I wanted to demo is a new uh, verified page uh, that we have on verified user. So this is about the session verification is about uh, verifying uh, the current user session. And it's not possible yet to verify other users using ElementX, uh, but it will come later. Uh, but um, we are now able to see if someone is verified or not. So if I go to this profile, for instance, I can see that this user has been verified. And if I go to another profile, um, this one, for instance, we can see that this user is not verified. And we added um, an action which is disabled just to tell people that they can use the web application to verify the user. So these are the two small things we added on the, uh, on the uh, user number or the member detail screen uh, about uh, verification. And that's it. That was all for incoming session verification and the new verified badges. All right, thank you. You described them as small things. I think that in, in, incoming verification request is really uh, is actually quite a big deal because it's one of the first things you do when you um, when you want to get going. So it's you say it's a small thing, but I think from a usability point of view, it's um, it, it's a really important piece. Sorry, someone else wanted to. Yeah. You know, um, sure. The small thing was uh, the badges. Oh, okay. Okay. But okay the incoming sorry, session verification is yeah, it's quite important. And. Um, yeah, so I didn't mention that it's uh, there will be the same flow on iOS and the Rust pull request have been has been done by uh, 
by Stefan. So, thanks. All right. Thank you, Benoit. Matrix Live. That's a lot. Thank you.